This is my Ditch Witch R200 tractor. I'm going to do a series of videos on this. Uh, we're going to be changing this tractor quite a bit. I'm going to talk to you about some of the things about it. Give you some history on it. This tractor was originally built in 1974 by Ditch Witch. It is a model R200. It's the largest model Ditch Witch has ever made, will ever make. It's 195 horsepower. Originally this tractor was equipped with a vibratory plow as seen in the back. And as I mentioned, this is a large tractor. That plow was actually able to install 3 inch diameter cable about 4 feet deep. Fully dressed out with the roll of cable in the front. This tractor weighs about 31,000 pounds. Tire size is 67 by 34 by 25. These are Goodyear tires on this particular one. It's four wheel drive, four wheel steer, crab steer, hydrostatic transmission, uses a Detroit 6V53 two cycle diesel engine. We'll look at some more pictures here. This is the machine as it was when I bought it. It's kind of rough shape. But you can't be too picky on these R200s. They only made 40 of these units ever. Good part of it is it uses Rockwell axles, Detroit engine, Sunstrand Hydro, so everything's available over the open market other places. You can see in this photo here that it's got a real carrier on the front and a vibratory plow on the rear. I'm just looking through some photos. I bought this tractor to use as a project. What we're going to do with it is we removed the tile plow or cable plow. I suppose you could run tile through it. We're going to install a backhoe unit off of a Case 580M tractor. The case had actually been rolled over. Ruined the tractor but the hose survived well. So we bought the backhoe unit off of it. We're going to put that on the back and we're going to be installing a dozer blade off of a Caterpillar D5M LGP. It's a PAT six way blade on the front. What we're going to use this tractor for is we do drainage tile. Our drainage tile machine is a chain type trencher which leaves a windrow of dirt on the left and right side of the chain. So you have to have a machine with an angle blade. We also need something with a backhoe to install our joints and fittings. Well, after much looking, this is what we've came up with was the stitch witch. Because it has a hydro transmission, it'll take the punishment of the forward and backward work. It's four wheel crab steer with large aggressive tires that won't fall in the tile ditches or anything. It's hydro, so we can pull stringer chairs with it, match speeds with the tile machine, or pull against the tractor pulling the tile machine and you know if you're a mud hole or something you can kind of match speeds just a lot of advanced advantages to it. it we've looked a long time looked at backhoe tractors and everything and we just didn't see anything that we really liked so we came up with this idea to, to come to buy this tractor we were originally going to do this with the ditch which r100 but r100 just wasn't a, a large enough tractor so I'm going to do a multi-part series of videos and, and show you what we've done. It's a pretty impressive project. Um, I'll have more videos here, so stay tuned.